The TU-95 Bear and B-52 Stratofortress represent two iconic Cold War-era strategic bombers still in service today, with the Tu-95 being the only propeller-driven bomber and the B-52 holding the title of the U.S. Air Force's longest-serving bomber. Both have evolved into formidable platforms, but their design philosophies and operational roles differ significantly. The Tu-95 relies on four Kuznetsov NK-12 turboprop engines with contra-rotating propellers generating supersonic blade tips that make it one of the loudest military aircraft ever built. In contrast, the B-52 uses eight Pratt and Whitney TF-33 turbofan engines, allowing it to cruise at Mach 0.86 compared to the Bear's 573 miles per hour. While the Tu-95's swept wing design maximizes efficiency for its turboprops, the B-52's 185-foot wingspan and jet propulsion enable high-altitude endurance. The B-52 boasts an 8,800-mile range without refueling, slightly shorter than the Tu-95's 9,300-mile capability. However, the B-52's higher cruising speed and in-flight refueling systems grant it faster global response times. The Tu-95 compensates with loitering endurance, ideal for long-duration patrols over contested airspace. Both bombers carry nuclear and conventional weapons, but the B-52's 70,000-pound payload dwarfs the Tu-95's 33,000-pound capacity. The B-52H variant integrates precision-guided munitions and hypersonic missiles, while the Tu-95MS launches KH-15 Kent cruise missiles from internal and wing-mounted launchers. The B-52 saw extensive action in Vietnam, dropping over 2.6 million tons of ordnance, and later in Afghanistan and Iraq. The Tu-95, primarily a nuclear deterrent during the Cold War, debuted in combat during Russia's 2015 Syria campaign, launching cruise missiles from safe distances. Upgrades keep both relevant. The B-52 will receive new engines, radar, and weapon systems to serve beyond 2050, while the Tu-95MS integrates advanced avionics and hypersonic missile compatibility. The B-52's adaptability across roles, from carpet bombing to electronic warfare, contrasts with the Tu-95's focus on standoff strikes. The B-52 remains a cornerstone of U.S. nuclear triad and conventional strike missions, operating from bases like Guam and Diego Garcia. The Tu-95, often paired with Tu-160s, projects Russian power through provocative Arctic and NATO border patrols, leveraging its range to threaten distant targets. Choosing a better bomber depends on context. The Tu-95 excels in cost-effective, long-range patrols with unique turboprop efficiency, while the B-52's versatility, payload, and technological edge make it irreplaceable for multi-role missions. Both epitomize Cold War ingenuity, adapted to dominate 21st century skies.